guys this is Gary much today and welcome to another video of app geyser and today i'm excited to show you what we actually have been building in app geyser so right now uh, this video is all about recipe apps and i'm going to show you the whole angle that we're following with recipe apps so in this case we have recipes cooking guide cookery book and recipe book four different styles and the whole idea is we're trying to help you to come up with different designs in that way you can actually change the angle and be able to do things in a unique way. Um, so the, the initial part is we have two resources for you guys and one is called the recipe sites and this is a file that we're going to be updating all the time for you guys uh, and it's all different type of categories that makes it very interesting. So in this case we have for example baking okay so I can actually go here to baking um, and you can actually come up with ideas uh, for for research let's say I have curry here some of them are pretty old this one is going to be pretty old I actually saw it before recipes by curry type so this is called dead by curry all these type of curries here so one of the things you can actually do is you can actually go to recipes by curry and look at the curry uh, suggestions here and these ones balti, bona, chicken, um, lamb those ones are going to become their own categories here when we start building our own app so I can actually go here to recipes create now and it's going to give me all the different ideas it's going to load and in this case as I mentioned before then the lamb recipes would be our own category here so I can put here uh, lamb uh, recipes now why not put curry because in this case the whole app is going to be called a curry app okay so I can actually come here and click uh, South Indian lamb and I can actually copy this. Now, you may, you may, I mean, ask yourself the question, does this have, I mean, copyrights? And the question is usually, uh, no. Okay, usually these apps, um, sorry, these, these recipes don't have copyrights. I mean, it's traditions. So it's very difficult to get in trouble with, um, for copyrights. So I'm going to click here, all the information, as you can see, look how easy this is. And then I'm going to go and put the instructions and, here we go, instructions, directions, and serving, I'm going to put four people, I'm going to attach an image later on, and boom, cooking time, uh, cooking time, no idea, so I'm going to put cooking time, uh, whatever, it says 10 minutes, 2 hours, I'll put an hour, right, I mean, whatever, um, so I'm going to put 60 minutes, okay, cool, uh, okay, ah, sorry, I'm going to put 55 minutes, Okay, all done. Uh, example, zero point, oh, my mistake. Okay, there you go, up guys, here, <laughs> done. So we have lamb recipes. Now in this case, uh, this is, will be South Indian lamb curry and this is going to go in, in lamb recipes. And I can actually come here and put more recipes. Obviously it will become lamb recipes. Or I can actually come here and put, for example, uh, a new category and the category will be called chicken, okay? Or vegetarian or whatever. Now, how to use the, the information. So here are all the recipe sites that we have for you. So go and check them out. They will be in your dashboard once you start creating an app. So you may not be able to see this initially. So my suggestion is go and create one app and you will find this in your dashboard. So it's not uh, open for everyone. You have to obviously be part of App Geyser. Once again, it's free, so no stress. And we also have here, um, the app resources cooking guide. So this is a database of ASO keywords, app optimization with different different type of traffic. So as you can see, the traffic is the numbers that you can actually obtain for those keywords, that some of them are sensational, right? Now, cooking games is not going to apply for you guys, obviously, but for potentially you have things like cooking quinoa that makes it very interesting. So how do you validate this information? So you have all the information here and we're going to be, oh, sorry, we're going to be increasing these more and more and more over and over. So it's actually made as a reference. It's not telling you, hey, go and do these apps, but it's actually giving you different ideas for potential keywords. So this is an example, okay? Um, maybe some of them make absolutely no sense and the traffic is not great, so you can actually ignore them. We're going to be improving this over and over and over. But some of them are interesting. So let's have a look at, at something like artichokes. Now, artichoke has a decent traffic. It's not the most delicious food in the world by all means. But one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to put cooking artichokes as in Google Play to see exactly what I can come up with. And this is the interesting part. I put cooking artichokes. Let's see what happens. And 
Artichoke recipes, there's one here. It's a whole app just for artichokes. And there's another one here. So I'm going to click select more. And let's click on artichokes to see what's this, okay? Okay, so this is a little app about artichoke recipes. Interesting, okay? Um, you see very little downloads. So obviously maybe this didn't work very well. So let's look at another one here. Um, artichoke spinach. This is just one app. One app. Okay, so very lot of traffic for that one. Okay, cool. So this right now, what I will do, guys, is I'll actually ignore the keyword artichokes. I'm usually one of the things I like to do is I like to go for keywords that I like and but also that has traffic, and I can actually validate this. So I'm going to have a look here potentially at other keywords. Okay, so okay, apple pie. Apple pie is delicious. So let's click on apple pie. Uh, I see a lot of apple pie here. Um, apple pie, apple pie crumble, uh, lasagna. Okay, so lasagna is interesting. So I'm going to put here lasagna to see what happens. Lasagna. Okay, so boom. Okay, we get all the Garfield. Of course, Garfield loves lasagna. And here we have food Twitter, lasagna. Okay, and this one is already having 5,000 to 10,000 installs. Not bad for a very easy one. Lasagna recipe here. He could have done a better. Uh, okay, lasagna recipe. Look at that. And it has 5,000 to 10,000. Okay, not bad. Version 1.1 seems to me that's pretty recent. That's pretty good. And as you can see, you can get, I mean, apps are getting five to 10,000. I mean, and that's actually pretty good. Okay, we want to get, um, we want to get apps that actually, okay, this is a, a game. It's called the Cookie Chef. Best vegetarian lasagna, again. Look at look at the presentation. Some of them are not very good. Okay, but so the whole idea is to find keywords that okay cooks fun. Look at this one lasagna. I like it. 100 lasagna recipes. So they put the effort. Okay, and that is how we start coming up with ideas. Now let's go for apple pie for example or curry like we saw before. So we have curry. Okay, obviously curry is going to be curry recipes. Okay, curry uh, cooking. Okay, and here we have other recipes that we have here. Okay, so we can actually, by looking here, we can actually come up with different ideas. Look at this one. Uh, this one has 10,000 to 50,000 downloads. That's nice. Okay, curry main dishes in the health and fitness category. And this one has some bad reviews, has 5,000 downloads in two months. That's not bad. And that's the whole idea here to try to find the best niches that we have. And that's where we're actually building the resources here, as you can see. Now it's all about spending a little bit of time and trying to understand which ones are going to be the best keywords. But again, it's so easy to build these apps and it's so fast to build this app. Just give it a go. And if you're not part of App Guys, so go and check appguys.com. There's tons of them and it's such an easy way to build an app. Uh, we have beautiful templates so far and we have four new ones for cooking so just give it a go and don't forget you have all these resources in your dashboard that hopefully are going to help you to improve your optimization improve your research and make better and nicer apps and obviously make more downloads and more profit thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye